bang woo what is up youtube we're back with another video today today we out here guys right now i'm on my way to the mansion party whatever i'm gonna get some work done but today we need to talk about why your dreams are taking longer than you expected to happen bang guys yes bro literally two days ago I was so confused, bro. I was just asking God. I was like, why? I was like, why is it taking this long? Why, why, why? And you know what's funny? The answers always come in a different way than you expected. He's not just going to talk to you and say it. You're going to see it through signs in your life. So later when I got home, I was cooking two big pieces of chicken and one small chicken. So the, the one small chicken was, of course, done first. And the two big pieces were going to take longer to cook. But I cooked them all at the same pace. And I realized the two big pieces aren't cooked full enough. But the small one is. And then it just hit me and I was like, holy shit. That's the answer God's showing me. When your dream and your goal is so large, guys, it's going to take longer to cook. A lot of the dreams you guys have are big-ass dreams, guys. You guys want to be in mansions. You guys want to have badass bitches. You want to be in foreign-ass vehicles, guys. But you got to understand, that is a big dream and it's going to take longer. It's not necessarily a dream, one of those small-ass dreams saying, I want to get a regular McDonald's job. Nigga, that shit can happen next week. Saying I want to get a mansion and stuff, bro, that's going to take longer. And I started seeing that with that sign. I was like, wow, that's exactly the truth. And I know a lot of you guys, you guys are like, where's my results? I, I want this mansion. I want this job. Why hasn't it happened yet? Bro, it's a huge dream, guys. And that huge dream is going to take longer. So now I've kind of understood and I want other people to understand it's going to, we have to sit down and be patient and continue putting in that work every day and cooking our food. Our dreams are super big. It needs to be cooked. However, guys, I'm going to break down a lot of stuff for a lot of younger people and older people because I've, bro, I've gained so much wisdom by putting myself in this uncomfortable position, bro. Stop relying on others, nigga. Bro, I literally, I'm literally in a situation right now where I wake up and people around me, they're, who are they relying on? They're calling up other people for money. They're calling up their mom for money and they're just call, relying on other people to get their bills paid and make sure they're fed. You guys don't understand, a lot of my viewers right now are in that same position. You're either in your mom's house, maybe you have a brother or sister, somebody who's helping you and that's your safety net. Guys, I'm gonna I'm be honest now, make your safety net yourself. You will not fully grow up and mature till you make your safety net yourself, guys. And I know it's harder said than done because there's pain with it. Pain is going to come with that shit, bro. And I'm starting to realize it. This morning, I was literally sitting, bro. And I was like, damn, next week, bro, I might be fucking short on money and I might need some money somehow. And I was like, a I, 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 I thought crept in my mind. It was the devil, bro. He was like, oh, just call your mom. Call your grandfather. They'll send it to you. And I was like, yeah, they would. That was the easy, safe way. Then I just like snapped out. I was like, bro, how much longer can I do this for my life? How much longer can I say, oh, my grandfather's going to take care of it. My mom's going to take care of it. Nigga, that shit will go on forever till they're gone. And then I won't know how to take care of myself, bro. That is exactly why. I sat down and I realized, I was like, all right, what is something I can do to get that money? And I figured it out. I figured it out, something I can do. And it, it may not align with this camera and this dream, guys. You got to understand, you may have to take on jobs or side hustles that don't align with where your end goal. But deep down inside, bro, God, he's showing you, like, the plan is, uh, that is a part of the plan. It wasn't a part of your plan, but it was a part of God's plan to get you there. And it's weird, guys. It happens all the time. I was, I was seeing that with the Hollywood sign hike. My plan and my goal was to get to the Hollywood sign. Other people were taking the easy way, and I took the whole other long, hard way, bro. But in return, bro, I still ended up getting there. You, my plan was to get there. And, but my plan was not to take that whole long ass hard way. But when I did get there, bro, it was more satisfying and mentally enjoying and I could enjoy it, bro. That's the thing, guys. When God's putting you on that hard path, understand it's for a reason. It's so you can enjoy it the right way and get mental satisfaction, guys. And you know what was the silly part about it? It was the longer and harder way. But I realized coming back down... Bro, some people I started with were still at the same position. And that's when it hit me. It was like, bro, it felt long, but it really isn't long. 
So a lot of us were thinking, oh damn, the long hard way, it's too long. It's gonna take too long to get that mansion. It's gonna take too long to get that bit. Bro, it's gonna feel long and it's gonna feel hard, but it's not really that long, guys. Truth be told, if some, bro, all everybody has to do, anybody watching now, get on your grind every day. Every day, post a video every day, go to the gym every day, fucking do whatever work you need to do every day for a year, watch. That whole year, that shit's gonna feel mad long, bro, but watch, you're gonna realize, holy shit, a year wasn't that long. And that's the position we need to get into, guys. We're, we're a little obsessed with these quick and easy routes. Nigga, the easy way is going to put us backwards, nigga. And like I said, make your safety net yourself. You're gonna thank yourself so much in the future, guys. And I've, st bro, I've started to see this shit, a lot of stuff, in LA and a lot of stuff in the world is an illusion guys a lot of people are making a lot of money yes but a lot of people are relying on other people to do that I personally know a couple of people they're relying on their sister they're relying on fucking they 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 go and travel and when sh and when they run out of money they go back to their mom's house I was doing the same thing so I know that they rely on their friends to let them sleep on mansion floors bro they rely bro I was in the same position bro it's like I'm relying on my friends and shit to do this shit shit but deep down they're doing me a favor and nigga in the real world bro not many people are gonna give you favors if you get a favor be grateful take it and be blessed but bro you got to learn how to hunt on your own and make your own safety net that is why I had to step out of the mansion bro because my safety net can't be my friend bro I can't rely on my friend to give me cheap rent to live in an amazing house I need to figure out how to get my own amazing house relying on myself and a lot of you guys are in that position and I'm gonna say this right now uh, what's holding you guys back is ego and pride same with me y'all don't want to do DoorDash you don't want to do Uber you don't want bro listen Yes, you're, what you want to do, your dream, that shit may be making you some money, but there may be a week, nigga, where you need to do DoorDash or Uber, nigga, to fucking pay your bills and eat. That's called re growing up, nigga. That's called, all right, I'm going to rely on myself to get this shit done, nigga. That's what a man is supposed to do. And I know I'm only 21, guys, so it's hard to listen to me about how to be a man, but I'm maturing by the day. As soon as I took myself out of these comfortable positions, bro, it's like I just matured and grew so much exponentially, bro. And it's only been a week, nigga. I've seen the world for what it is, bro. But I still have more to see. And that's what the whole point is, guys. Go see the fucking world, nigga, and put yourself out there. You guys are stuck relying on other people. And hey, bro. I understand because a lot of people get help in this world. Don't be fooled, guys. Help is not wrong. Take the help. Let people help you, bro, because you're going to need help to get to the top. But don't let other people be your safety net. Figure out how to make your own safety net, bro. Just like my friends, they're fucking, they're in London, bro. They're from London. They rented out this place, bro, and they let me stay. That's not forever, bro. I, they can't, they're not my safety net. I can't let them be my safety net. So they're going to leave. So what is going to, who's going to make sure I get fed and put clothes on my back and allow me to be out in LA and get videos done? I have to be my own safety net, guys. And you have to be your own safety net too. Don't rely on your mom. Don't rely on your friend. Don't rely on nobody. But if they give help, be appreciative and actually take the help the right way, bro. If they give you help, make the most of it. And that's one thing I can say. People who have helped me, bro, I've always given over 100%. Every, in every situation, I've made sure I've always stayed up late, made sure I've woken up early, and made sure I got shit done and helped them in return. That is what's going to get us to the next level, guys. Bang! I love y'all. That was a great vlog and a great video, guys. I'm about to go to a mansion party, but I missed... I missed my ride, nigga. Now I gotta walk up to the mansion party. Something I didn't want to do. But I needed to because I need to see it's going to take hard. It's going to take heart, blood, sweat and tears to get to where you want to go, nigga. Check out my other videos here, guys. If you haven't already, leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. Bro, it takes so much to give this energy out, guys. I appreciate it when it comes back because it allows me to keep giving these amazing messages and keep helping people, guys. So if y'all haven't already, sub, like, comment. I love y'all. Check out my merch too, guys. Support your boy. We out in LA. Just like I support you guys by giving y'all this beautiful information. Support me any way you can. 
I love y'all so much, guys. And I'm going to see y'all back with another video.